Listening practice through dictation too. Art and culture. Unit eleven. The Mona Lisa. What are you looking at, Billy? This is a copy of my favorite painting. It's the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. Why is that your favorite painting? Well, there are a few things that make the Mona Lisa great. First, she has no eyebrows. Second, she has a really beautiful smile. Most of all, I like the soft colors of the painting. Have you seen the Mona Lisa before? It is a very famous painting. Of course, I've seen the painting a few times before, but I never noticed that her eyebrows are missing. I wonder why she has no eyebrows. Do you know why? At the time Da Vinci painted it, it was fashionable for young Italian girls to shave off their eyebrows. Every girl wanted to be fashionable. Wow, that's really interesting. In what year was the Mona Lisa painted? I think it was painted sometime between 1503 and 1505. I wonder what a modern Mona Lisa would look like. She might have purple hair. Unit twelve, Bang Yi. Once upon a time, there was a poor, kind man named Bang Yi. He had a rich but greedy brother. One day. Bang Yi asked his brother to give him some grain seeds to grow. His greedy brother gave Bang Yi some poisoned seeds. Only one plant grew from the poisoned seeds, but Bang Yi was very happy. He took good care of the plant. Then one afternoon, a bird came and stole the plant. Bang Yi chased the bird into the forest. In the forest. He saw two monsters using a magic stick to turn rocks into food. Bang Yi hid behind a big rock and watched the monsters. The monsters ate a lot of food. Soon they became very sleepy. When the monsters had fallen asleep, Bang Yi took their magic stick. He became very rich. Bang Yi's greedy brother went to the forest to find a magic stick for himself. The angry monsters saw him. They chased him deep into the forest. The greedy brother was never seen again. Unit thirteen, Friendship Day. Friends are an important part of our lives. They help us in many ways. Do you tell your friends that you are glad they are your friends? Everyone should tell their friends that they are special. Did you know that there is now a special day just for friends? This day is called National Friendship Day. The first Sunday in August was chosen to be National Friendship Day in 1935. This holiday is not as big as Christmas or New Year's Day. However, it is still a special day. People are usually too busy to visit their friends often, but this day is different. On this day, people take time to tell their friends how much they care. They write cards or send emails to their friends. They may also call their friends, no matter how busy they are. People hug their friends or spend time with them. There are many ways to show you care. You need not wait for a special day. Call your friends right now. Unit fourteen, an outdoor exhibit. Do you like photographs? What kind of photos? Photos of plants and animals, for example, or mountains and oceans—the sort of photographs a nature magazine would publish. That's right. Of course, I love nature photos. They are very beautiful. Some of them are very colorful. Yes, most nature photos are so interesting. Sometimes I buy nature magazines just for the photos. Me too. I like taking nature photos with my camera, but they are not very good. My photos are not good either. Famous nature magazines only publish very good photos. That's true. People must be very talented to get their photos published. Yeah. Why are we suddenly talking about photographs? Is there an exhibit somewhere? How did you guess? There is an outdoor exhibit going on right now. Really? Yes. Nature photographs from all over the world are on display.
That sounds great. I would love to see it. Me too. Would you like to go with me? Sure. How about Sunday morning? Okay. It will be fun to see all those photos. Unit 15. People are different. There are more than 6 billion human beings in the world. Each one is different from all the others. No two people look exactly alike. People from one country may look the same in general, but they are not totally alike. Most people in Vietnam have straight black hair and black eyes, but they all look different. People in America have straight hair, curly hair, or wavy hair. Their hair may be black, brown, yellow, or red. Some people have brown or gray eyes. Some have blue or green eyes. Even people in the same family look different from each other. We all think differently. We all like different things. We like different kinds of food and different kinds of music. We also like different styles of clothing. Wherever you are, you are different from everyone else. Nobody else looks just like you. Nobody has your thoughts or your talents. There are more than 6 billion people on Earth, but none of them are exactly like you. You are one of a kind. Leisure and Entertainment Unit 16, Karaoke It's nice to see you, Karen. How have you been? I've been very well, thank you. How are you, Dan? I'm fine, thanks. I went to the movie Saturday night. I wanted to invite you, but you weren't home. That's right. I went karaoke singing with some friends on Saturday night. Really? I've never sung karaoke. What's it like? I had never gone karaoke singing before either, but I had a great time. My friends were experienced karaoke singers, so they showed me what to do. Did you have to sing in front of a lot of strangers? No. The place we went to rented out small private rooms. Nobody else could hear us. They even gave us free sodas. Cool. What kind of music did they have? They had hundreds of different songs to choose from. They had both new songs and old songs. They had songs in English and songs in several other languages, too. It was really fun. I think I'll go karaoke singing next weekend. Unit 17 Watching TV Did you watch the latest episode of that new reality show last night? There are so many of those reality shows these days. Which one are you talking about? It's called Good Fences, and it's all about neighbors. This reality show is the only one I like, because you're right, the others are just silly. I never watch reality shows at all. I prefer to watch shows that teach me about something, like science and nature programs and travel shows. Oh, I like travel shows too. My favorite travel show is the one with that chef from England. He travels, cooks, and eats all the time. I like that one too. He really makes me laugh. He has a good sense of humor. Let's watch it together this week. It's on Thursday at 8 o'clock, right? That's right. But where shall we watch it? Well, I have a big screen TV and a comfortable sofa. Okay, we'll watch it at your place then. And I'll bring some snacks. See you then. Unit 18. Have some fun. Okay, great. We'll meet you in an hour. Bye. Who is that on the phone, Jane? That was Amy. She wants to meet us in front of her apartment building in an hour. Why are we meeting her there? Because her apartment is close to the bus stop. We're going to go downtown and watch a movie. So hurry up and get ready. Oh, I honestly don't think I should watch a movie tonight. I'm studying for an important test on Tuesday, so I really don't have time to have fun. You have been studying for several days, Joe. You don't need to study anymore. You need to have some fun because you're too tired to study anyway. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Is it just Amy and us going? Lily is coming along too. Really? I need time to take a shower and get dressed. Don't worry. You have time. It will be fun to see Lily and fun to watch a movie together. I told you so. Unit 19. Tickets to the game. You won't believe this, but I have some great news. I've got two tickets to the baseball game next Saturday. 
Did I hear you correctly? You have two tickets to the baseball game? How did you get those? I thought it was impossible to get tickets because they were all sold out last month. It was easy, actually. My colleague and her husband have to go to London that week, so they'll miss the game. They offered me their tickets, and of course, I was happy to accept. You're so lucky. Who are you going to take with you? I was thinking that maybe you would like to go. Otherwise, I might take my brother instead. Don't do that. I would love to watch the game with you. I was just joking. I know you really want to go. Where shall we meet on Saturday? Well, the game starts at 9 o'clock in the morning, right? Yes. Shall we meet here at 8.30 a.m. on Saturday? Good idea. I can't wait. Unit 20. Wonder Woman. Comic book heroes have been popular for many years. One hero has the strength of 100 men. This hero also has the speed of lightning. This hero cannot be killed. If you think this hero is Superman, you are wrong. This hero is Wonder Woman. A man called William Marston created Wonder Woman in 1941. He was a graduate of Harvard University. He used a false name on his comics. He did not want his colleagues to know that he wrote comics. The false name was Charles Moulton. Mr. Marston wanted to make a strong female hero for little girls. Of course, he hoped that little boys would like Wonder Woman too. Wonder Woman was not very popular at first. Then, World War II began in 1941. Wonder Woman became a role model for children around the world. She was both strong and beautiful. She always tried to do what was right. Today, she is still one of the most popular heroes of all time. Thank you.